Hello all, hello everyone. It's me, Young Leo, here today. Today is a brand new day, pretty day. About 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, it was just raining for the last two days. Uh, the weather is real good, but um, I have to come out here again. This is the next day. Yesterday I made a video, uh, talk with you about about how I'm cleaning the backyard of my woods here, um, digging, uh, cleaning all of the uh, uh, the poison plants around uh, the backyard of my house and uh, this is the second video okay uh, showing you guys how I'm cleaning uh, the area back here um, so today it's 80 degree Fahrenheit it is real I mean it's breezy like it's not hot so um, but I have to come out here like before it get dark because yesterday when I came out here um, uh, to do the work and it was dark so you don't want to be out here when it's almost dark, okay? Because there's a lot of mosquitoes and bees and all these insects can get into your skin, okay? Just like yesterday, I came out almost late, you know, like 7 or 8 o'clock and it's almost dark. That's bad. That's not a good thing to come out here around dark time because you can't see anything. You can't see anything that bits you or anything like that. So, um, so today... It got a little cooler okay it's not like 95 degrees it's not hot so like uh usually uh you come out here like around four or five in the day like four or five in the evening and it's hot it's still hot right but like for the last two days coming out here around four or five six o'clock it's feeling so good okay so it's a good time to work on uh, the backyard and uh i just gotta say you know just gotta be careful when i'm out here because if I can't see things, you know, like yesterday, I came out here to clean up the back here, like getting all the poison plants out by digging and all that, gravel it out. Um, it was kind of a little dark. It got darker, and then I can't really see mosquito or anything bite me, so I was itching you know, around my face, and like, uh, and then I was just wiping my face, and I saw a couple of mosquitoes, a couple of you know mosquito that's dead you know so obviously it's been crawling around my skin so the best thing you can do is when you come out here work anytime really it don't matter if it's dark or not i recommend you guys to wear like gloves mask anything that covers all your skin okay I, that's what i need to do um but i mean i'm not trying i'm not doing it yet because you know i don't do this for a living so i'm just doing this like maybe this a couple of days during this week and that'll be it hopefully i'll be done with all this but anyway you should wear like gloves socks shoes long pants long sleeve and all that cover most of your skin as much as you can because yesterday i was wiping my face and i see mosquitoes dead on my arm and stuff so i'm like no i gotta co i gotta cover my face or my neck or you know if i'm coming out here work again um i'm just having to make a videos now um because you know i'm making a video that's why i'm not wearing no gloves but i should be wearing gloves and uh trying to make this video as quickly as i can because in a minute there's going to be a lot of mosquitoes chasing me okay so um yeah so i you got to wear like masks and all that to prevent mosquito you know attack you or anything you know going around your skin like attack your skin okay you don't want anything like that to happen so uh that's why you want to come out here early as you can, okay? If it's not hot, 4 or 5, come out and do this. Don't wait until 7, 8 o'clock at night and, you know, you can't see mosquito, you can't see anything that flies to you. That's going to be really dangerous because yesterday I experienced that and I was so scared too. I mean, I was scared because it got darker and something flying to my face and bit me, you know? Like, I can feel like a big bees like flying right in my ears, like flying right at my ears. I thought like my ear is gonna fall off, you know. I thought it's gonna it's biting my ear off. So I just I got so scared. I, I ran inside. I mean like I, I'm not scared of human, but like I'm scared of insects and animals, okay? Like insects, period. Because insects can kill you, okay? Like they have parasites and all that. Okay, whatever. Anyway, back to what I was saying about cleaning all these poison plants, okay? I got around this area already, as you guys can see, bushy. From yesterday and today, I got to this much work. Um, basically, I'm just cleaning around this area so I can walk through around this house, this storage house. Um, so uh, let me get my gloves here. Um, I gotta wear a little bit of gloves so I can hold the. Uh, I can hold the. Uh, 
the shovel or whatever to try to show you guys what I'm doing here. So yesterday, you remember, this area here was full of like poison IV leaves, right? The three leaves. You see that? I got most of them out. It was a lot right here, and it was a lot of like pine tree leaves and all that stuff. It was a bad air right here. You can tell there's a lot of insects live right there, even snake or whatever. Um, you know, flies or bees, they probably gather around here a lot. So I got most of it out, okay? I got me uh, the shovel, whatever you want to call this. Um, I bought this right here back in my country, just only the, the shovel part, okay? Not the stick. The handle, I got to make my own handle, but that's why there's none of these sale in USA, okay? If you can find these in USA, it'll be like small and it's not really, you know, uh, stable, okay? For some reason, back in my country, I bought this like 20 years ago and, you know, just this piece right here is really stable. It lasts real long, okay? I just got to make my handle. But anyway, I use this first, okay? I would use this first to dig up, you know, just hit it the ground and dig up all of these right here dig up all of the small little plants so right now i see any little plants i'm considered it like poison plants okay it don't matter if i see like all these little plants all these green little plants i'm gonna dig them all up okay i don't care if it's poison or not okay because most of it it will be itchy poison plants okay regardless so might as well dig it all up clean it up clean it all up okay so after I use that to dig it up, just some spot, you know, like here, I'll just use, uh, what you call this? I don't know, a gravel or whatever. I just grab it up, you know? And uh, I grab it up to like a bush like this. You see that? Poison ivy leaves, the three leaves right there? Yeah, just gather it like a bunch right here. And then I will bag it up. You know, you don't want to like burn it or whatever, like I say. Gather it up as much as you can. At least clean the ground, you know. And then just leave it on the side like this. A bunch of that like that. So I've been digging. You see that? Um, if you see like, for example, I'll let you guys see. Uh, I'm, guys, I'm already itching by just being around here. Like my hands are all itching now. Um, like my fingers. I don't know. But anyway, I'll let you guys see this right here. You see this? You see this? This is poison ivy plants, the three leaves, and it's growing by vines, okay? It's growing by vines. See how long it is? So basically, I'm just taking that and chop it right here, okay? And then just grab it out. That's how you kill the whole plants and, you know, but you don't absolutely kill the whole plants. Like, the root is still down the ground. So you can't really dig up all the roots because that wastes a lot of time, you know. All I do, all I did was like just just chop right there and just grab up all the leaves. You see that? All the poison ivy leaves. But the root is still down there. So whenever it's wet, whenever it's rain wet, when you walk around here barefoot or whatever, you might get itchy, okay? I will get itchy if I walk around here um, because the root is still down there. So you got to kill the root. So how I'm going to kill the root? After this, I'm going to have to go to low or somewhere and buy like some poison ivy plants killer and just spray around here and just kill, you know, that will kill the roots, okay? That will permanently uh, solve the problem in killing the roots and, and um, it won't grow back uh, after a few months or whatever or the next season. So that's how I would um, uh, kill the roots and, uh, you know, uh, prevent it from growing back. Okay, now look at this guys. There's a much more poison ivy plants. You see how the big poison ivy plants is growing as a vine? Now, I didn't get to that yet. There's a lot over there. I need to like shovel it up and you know, over here, I got most of this part over here. I dig most of this. All I gotta do is just grab it up now um, and then just clean this air right here. It's already been chopped, um, clip and you know, dig. So pretty much I've done like over here in this side, this area, like all, all, almost all of them, except for over there. There's a lot more to do over there. Yeah. So uh, I will get over there sometime soon. And uh, might as well here, I'll let you guys see uh, Virginia Creeper. See that? That's Virginia Creeper. Yeah, with the five leaves. 
and it's growing like veins. It's growing in veins too, like just like poison ivy. Okay, so pretty much I'm done over here in this area, and so I can walk through this area now. But like, there's a much more over there I need to work on with. There's much more over there that I'm going to, you know, have to dig up all these poison ivy plants. Um, I gotta get around this area so I can move all my stuff over there out of the way. Um, hopefully I'll be done within a few days, but, uh, it's just too much. Like, I just barely got this part over here, and it might take me, like, days to do this. Like, really. Because I don't want to, like, work on this for, like, five hours and then got real itchy, like, the other day. Um, and remember, guys, you always gotta wear gloves, wear safety gloves, and, uh, yeah, I just got to tell you, it's it's really dangerous if you don't wear, like, safety gloves and all that. So, uh, yeah, I got to get to all that over there, too. So this is, like, a second video showing you guys uh, uh, what I'm doing back here, how, how I'm cleaning up the backyard and kill all these uh, poisonous plants. All right? So I got a lot of work to do. See that all over there? I don't know how, when I'm going to get rid of all that. And then over there too. A lot over there too. And then right here, this monkey grass. But uh, anyway, um, please share my videos, you guys. Share uh, so a lot of people out there, a lot of people don't know about this, you know. Um, they might get infected. Like for people who have pretty grass, you know. I'm not talking about people who have like pretty yard or whatever. But a lot of people has ugly yard like I do or don't even notice about this. They can be in danger, you know, so I just want to make this videos sharing, let you guys know, let all of them know. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the video. And I will uh, continue making video after this, just, uh, up updating, see what happened, let you guys see. Uh, but it might take days. And, uh, yeah, so go ahead, like my video if you guys liked it. Uh, please put some comments, appropriate comments, and uh, share my videos. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't. So I can see the subscribe. Um, but yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Me, Young Leo, is signing out for now. Bye bye. Have a safe, safe, be safe out there and stay safe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. All right, y'all. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop working uh, around this area like chopping all these poisonous tree now plants uh, because it's been itching okay I don't know if the itching is from the mosquito insect biting me or not but I'm itching like just been staying around here and like some mosquito been biting me too so I know I've been itching and it's almost dark now and uh, I'm just gonna make a video here showing you guys what's going on now uh, I'm stopping right here I've got tons more today cuz I'm just I've just done right here for the last couple of days just this area right here and I'm getting into this area and I'm not even I'm not even one third of done okay I'm, I'm I know I've I've just finished digging around this area but I have not like shovel it you know I have not gathered it because I, I did dig them up dig most of the most of the plants up around here because uh, then uh, it's almost dark and uh, I say that I gotta do a few things uh, today uh, earlier that I'm digging, you know, all the poisonous plants and then I'm gonna have to trim some grass on the front of my house. But, uh, you know, it's, it's really itching around, you know, working around this area, especially the wood, you know. Uh, it's not, it's okay back down in my house, like my people are right, they're not itching or anything because that's just grass down there. But once you get up here, it's itching, okay. Like, you deal, you have to deal with poisonous plants up here, okay. Uh, so I'm going to make a, showing you guys a little bit, and then I'll have to go down and do some other works, too. So here I'm at right here. I've just finished digging around this area a little bit. I have not used the gravel to to uh, to gather them yet, like over here. I'm going to let you guys see uh, how the uh, poison ivy plants look like around this area. I can't believe that uh, around this area I was working like a couple of months ago. That's when I got really, really itching from po uh, poison ivy. And look. I was all around this area working, like using my bare hands and, you know, wearing sandals and all that. I didn't really pay attention back then, so I got real itchy. But look at it. I can't believe, like, I, I, I was surrounded with, like, poisonous plants all the, like, the whole time, you know, when I was picking the woods up and all that. But look at this. I'm going to show you guys right here. 
Look at this poison ivy plant. This is one of the biggest plants, like one of the biggest spot where it grows, okay? Look at the leaves. This is one of the biggest leaves. See how big the leaves is? Like the size of my hand, you know? It's big as the size of my hand. These are one of the biggest poison ivy leaves. And it's not just poison ivy plants. There's like sumac and look, there's Virginia creeper right here. You see that? Virginia creeper are creeping up here like this whole pine tree right here. Because I was trimming the branch back then. You see that? And the vines and all the poisonous plants was growing around these trees like the whole season. Like you see how much poisonous plants around here? And vines too? Yeah. So there it is. This is the most poisonous plants area right here that's growing the whole season. And then of course it's going to be all the way over there too. But I have not gotten over there yet. I will show you guys once I'm getting over there. And look at this. All these vines right there too. There's something. But they got to be poisonous plants too. They got to be itchy. Okay. So uh, but anyway I'm just showing you guys right here. Um, but it's getting darker and it will be itching like all the mosquitoes around. Yeah, I'm going to start working from now, but I'm just going to make a, a short video showing you guys. I guess this is like a part three, maybe, of the video showing you guys how I'm cleaning the backyard, uh, killing all the poison ivy plants and all the poisonous plants. Uh, look at this. Look at this poison ivy leaves. They'll be bitten by some mosquito or something like that. They've been eaten, but look, those insects that eating those uh, poison ivy plants, you know they're really poisonous. The the insects that eat it, that eats the you see that? There's some insects that bitting on the leaves. Those insects are poisonous just like it, like you know, snakes or whatever. They've been eating those plants. They're poisonous, okay? And uh, another thing is deer, they eat they eat poison ivy plants, okay? Deer eat it, okay? Nobody else, no one else, not even human eats poison plants, okay? I don't think anyone else eat poison plants, okay? Only deers, you know, animals like that. So they do eat poison uh, IV plants, okay? Uh, but other than that, any other insects that are eating the poisonous plants, they will die, okay? Regardless, they'll die because it's real poisonous, okay? So, uh, all right, I'm just showing you guys here. Tomorrow I'm going to finish it up, maybe, hopefully, um, around this area because this is the area where I work, so... I got to clean throughout this whole area to make sure there will be no more um, poison plants, okay? I'm going to do as clean as I can and then just buy some killer plants and, you know, spray it after that. But uh, I'm real itchy now, like around my neck. There might be some mosquito bitten already back there, uh, back in my neck. And uh, uh, remember, guys, if, if you ever work like me doing a backwood, on the back wood like this and getting itchy, just go get some uh, hydro, uh, hydrocortisone creams. Uh, take two uh, pills of allergy pills and you'll be good. Like that's what I did yesterday when I got bitten. Like right here, uh huh. It's all red. Uh, yeah, it was all red. And then I came in, got two allergy pills, and then uh, put some cream on. You know, and today is, is better. No more, no more hot red. You know, uh, marks. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's all I want to show you guys, and I will uh, share with you guys. Please share it, and uh, yeah, I will finish it up by tomorrow or so, like come back and do you know, work around this area. But uh, for now, I got to go. I got to do other work. I got to cut some, trim some grass in the front of my house, and uh, it's getting dark, so I don't want to be out here, you know, dark time because it will be horrible <laughs> it'll be itchy you know mosquito attack and and spider let me show you guys one of the spider back here okay here there it is it's a small one okay maybe a small one right there uh but uh i'm gonna make a video showing you guys how i like, kill it how i kill all the spider around my house uh it'll be uh, in another video okay uh but yeah that's where i'm at right now Pretty much just grab her all the way up. I dig it all up already. I'm going to grab all this up by tomorrow and then salt my way over here. Um, and of course, I got to finish this area right here because this is like a mess right here. Like a lot of poison ivy plants. Um, all right, guys. Hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one.
Okay, this is the extra bonus uh, video parts that I want to mention to you guys and I forgot that uh, after you finish the yard work like killing all this, digging up all these uh, uh, itchy poisonous plants, don't forget to throw your gloves away if you can, don't wash, don't try to wash it and like put all your clothes, your shoe, your socks, everything out of the garage or outside and then wash it, okay, or throw it away. You don't want to bring it inside a house and then uh, other people touch it and they get poison IV, you know, because the, the usual oil might stay on your shoes or your pants or whatever. So remember just to wash it. Don't bring it inside the house. That's that's just that's my uh, bonus uh, part of the video I want to share with you guys. All right. <laughs> remember that. Yeah. Remember, throw the gloves away. Be real safety protection, you know, and uh just wash your clothes before you come inside the house. Don't bring your clothes inside the house, all right?